With the New Deal, labor leaders say progress has been made, but more work needs to be done to improve learning materials district-wide. Valley View News' Emily Cuellar has the details. LAUSD staff and constituents come together to make noise in honor of their students for resources and livable wages. Despite LAUSD school workers striking for higher wages, part of their fight is to also get more resources needed to properly support students across the district. This is that they're struggling too. Because we cannot be at our best, um, the students really suffer because we cannot be there as, as much as we would like to be. Global Program Educate a Child says a student needs human, material, and financial resources. With the LAUSD wages, many teachers say costs for most materials come out of their own pockets. <laughs> Let's see, this year I, I buy binders, notebooks, pencils, erasers, paper, uh, wipe I mean, um, poster boards, markers, paint. I haven't added it up, but it's, you know, it's, it, it, I spend at least $100 a month, you know, probably more, so. United Teacher LA's report Burnout Priced Out reveals 70% of LAUSD educators want to leave the job last year. 28% had a second job. The report says having a pay increase and a smaller class size would help. We do not have enough staff. I'm also here for smaller class sizes for myself. I mean, I have 30 in one class. I have um, one class where I have 24 kids, but about nine of them have special needs. So it's just one teacher. So it's really tough. We need more help, more aids to really get our students up to where they need to be. LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Carvalho says even in difficult moments, they'll provide support for students. Reporting from Van Nuys, for Valley View News, I'm Emily Cuellar.